Hello again, I'm Mauro from the Sandali Trading Company and today I'd like to speak to you about a fresh new arrival from Costa Rica. It is our Tierra Honey Terrazu coffee. This coffee here forms part of our traceability uh, project. Uh, it is not the first lot of Tierra that we have bought from Costa Rica. Um, just a few facts and figures. Terrazu is a valley in between some very nice mountains. Very famous coffee producing area in uh, Costa Rica. The um, Finca Tierra is found at about 1,400, 1,550 meters above sea level and is only two hectares big. The uh, Finca Tierra was uh, created by Cortarazú in Costa Rica following a project trying to improve the development and production of uh, uh, coffee in the Tarazú area. The cultivation of coffee on this uh, farm here, on this finca, is 50% shade grown and 50% direct sun. Uh, this particular lot was honey processed, which means that the cherries were actually um, taken off the pergamino and the mucilage was soaked into the beans, giving the coffee a lot more sweetness in the end. Then after the um, actual absorption of the mucilage, the coffee is then dried on uh, uh, African beds in the sun. The varieties used in this coffee here are Katwai and Katurra, and that we ordered this coffee in 30 kilo vacuum packed boxes in order to preserve the freshness. Okay, so here we have the coffee in front of us. The green is actually very intense. The um, honey processing definitely does intensify the color. Well selected. Uh, the screen size we picked up here in the green are about 88% screen 16 and 62% screen 17. The selection here translates into a good homogeneous roast as well with the development of the beans coming out uh, very well. Okay, so in front of me I have the two uh, cups of Tierra Honey coffee. Uh, one thing that I can tell you immediately is that the crema is a nice golden brown, but it isn't particularly thick, maybe due to the honey process. Um, it uh, isn't particularly thick, but definitely holds the cup very well and uh, uh, maintains its position. Um, Fragrance-wise, what comes out is definitely um, something citrusy, something that already gives us an idea of what we'll be tasting in this cup uh, with the um, cupping process. Let us sugar the one cup and just take in the fragrance a little bit more. Yes, definitely something fruity and uh, citrusy coming out there. Uh, enough said, let us go and taste the coffee. Starting with the unsugared cup. Already here, you have a clear picture of what this coffee is going to be like, but for the final judgment, the sugared cup is necessary. Okay. First impressions, the body is subdued. It isn't a very full-bodied coffee, but definitely what comes out very predominantly is the acidity. The acidity is of ripe lemon, ripe lemon, sweet lemon, and uh, uh, black cherries. So definitely a ripe, sweet, smooth type of fruit-like taste. And what is amazing about this coffee is the aftertaste because that black cherry, that sweet, uh, citrusy fruit flavor lingers on for a long period of time. So definitely a coffee to be appreciated uh, with a little bit of concentration and a little bit of time. <laughs>